Words and author habit. Book research, a two second Google search turns into a three hour rabbit hole. That occasionally does happen. Um, I've added stuff that I didn't think I was going to add. I've also created new stories because of that kind of thing. Okay, I'm a writer, but. But you don't read. Absolutely not. I read all the freaking time. So, 50% divorce rates, 80-90% initiated by women. Um, well, that's because women no longer have to put up with your bullcrap. They no longer have to put up with abuse and things like that. So when they are unhappy, you know, they deal with their unhappiness. Um, they are no longer stuck in abusive marriages or just unhappy marriages or, you know, things that are just one-sided. That's why. Um... If you cannot be somebody's partner without them having to obey you, without them having to be underneath you, you don't belong with somebody. Get a dog. In fact, no. You shouldn't even really treat your dog like that. You're just a piece of crap. Hmm. Or she shouldn't get married. So if she doesn't want to be treated like a dog... Or beneath somebody. She shouldn't look for a life partner. Just because you don't understand. Just because you don't like or understand what it means doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it means you would think because of somebody's gender they are beneath you and are not equal to you. That's exactly what it means. Um... I mean, misogyny is not hard to understand. If music is therapy, who's your therapist? The Constitution protects your right to religion, speech, press, peaceful assembly. I mean, you're not wrong in the sense that that's what the First Amendment is, but I find it funny that you think the other side is trying to take away all of that, um, especially with like the religion part, because it's you guys that want to force your religious beliefs into people's daily lives, right? Because like on the last video, that we got into a conversation about was about the obedience vow being taken out, you know, for weddings, um, especially since it was only for women. And, you know, you guys basically think if women aren't going to do things like be obedient, a lot of you think if she shouldn't, if she doesn't change her last name, which that's not in the Bible, um, to her husband's last name, she shouldn't be married. A lot of you guys have been against gay marriage. Um, at one time, people, especially religious people, were against interracial marriage. Some people still are against that in 2024. So I just kind of find it funny. It's, it's not the other side that wants to take away freedom. It's not the other side that's banning books, that's you know, asking if 
children are old enough to carry pregnancies, um, asking how many organs a woman can lose before she should terminate a pregnancy that's dangerous. A lot of things. See you guys. It's been a minute since I've done some long form content. And if any of y'all. Wow. Wow. Your video basically just proved that your version of Christianity, I'm, I say your version because I know many Christians that are not like that at all, um, it, it is nothing but hate-filled bullcrap. Um, yeah, the whole thing about women submitting, still sexist, still misogynistic, whatever you want to call it. Your version of God does not like or respect women, despite the fact that he, she, whatever you want to call it, created them, right? Women are the ones that give birth, that, you know, bring life um, to the world. But yet, they're the ones that are supposed to submit. And I'm not saying the other one should submit. You know, I believe in equal partnership and everything. They're the ones that are supposed to obey. Dude, fuck you. Oh my god. Like, wow. Um, and I never said specifically Christians. When I said you guys, your side, I basically, I, I meant, like, conservative. Like, ultra-religious, fundamentalist, conservative, homophobic Christians. Not all Christians. Um... And I'm pretty sure you knew exactly what I meant. Um, yeah, your beliefs just make no fucking sense. Um, again, the fact that two grown people in a relationship are not equal. One is seen as superior than the other one. Um, especially one, again, one carries life in their body. You have your family because she carried life. You know, women are expected to bend to the will of men. You know, again, change their name, sometimes change where they live, um, their children, you know, their body changes and everything. Yet we are seen as the weak ones, the emotional ones, the irrational ones. But yet we got to put up with all that. Well, at least you think we should um, because, you know, men, you know, can't control themselves or their anger and all this other bullshit. Um, so, yeah, your, your beliefs are sexist. Um, the whole gay thing doesn't make any fucking sense, especially because I know you're probably obviously against abortion. How far you are against it, I don't know, because there are some even in the conservative movements that will make exceptions for, like, SA or the life of the mother. I hope you at least make those exceptions, right? The thing about it is, is how does a god who created the universe, this mighty, magnificent creator that knows all, that has created all, okay? Considering the fact that we have hungry children in the world, but hungry children in the United States of America, right? And th there are places that are so overpopulated, right? And, you know, there's people who can't afford to take care of their children, you know, for whatever reason, you know, um, depending on where they live, you know, how much money they're making, etc. So, God knowing everything, he would know that, right? So, why is it that he would be mad at gay people because they can't have more children? You know, they, they can't produce children. 
right? Like two men, two women, like biologically they cannot get the other partner pregnant. So knowing how many children are like needing homes and stuff and if they wanted a child one of the options that they would have would to be adopt a child that needs a home right why would a loving god be against that like why would god hate things like abortion because as you say it kills children knowing that there are children that will go into the foster system or be homeless or whatever but also hate gay people because they can't put more children into the world where children are homeless and starving. Like the fact that God would be against both abortion and gay people, and especially gay people adopting children, makes no sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. Um... So yeah, yeah, you guys... The crazy Christians are trying to push your religion on people because you are the ones that are trying to stop gay marriage. You are the ones, again, that are trying to force victims, even ones that are young, into carrying pregnancies that could possibly kill them because, you know, Women still die in childbirth sometimes. Another thing is that when I went to public school, because I, I went to Catholic school like twice, um, but in public school, they celebrated things like Christmas. They didn't celebrate Ramadan or Hanukkah. I mean, they acknowledged those things existed, but the big celebrations were like Christmas ones. So this thing about God not being allowed in schools, I don't know what the hell you're talking about because Christianity still pretty much dominates things. I mean, I'm sorry that you feel threatened that other religions are getting, you know, a little bit of a spotlight. Um, but yeah, it's you're, you're not fucking oppressed. And just because you don't mention God doesn't mean you're an atheist. I bet you know nothing about Satanism or paganism or anything else outside of your little fucking bubble. Anyways, bye-bye.